K3 fam, it's your girl Works, and I'm here with my April budget in review, and I'm just going to jump right into it. I got paid two times for the month of April, and that was April 12th and April 26th, and let's see how I did. Okay, so for, I wanted to pay $100 per pay for my car insurance, but at the end of the month, I only paid $75. I've actually now mentally reduced this total to be $75. So I was negative $50 for my car insurance. My car note, I want, you know, I put up $250, so that was right on target. My girl's trip is supposed to be $112 a pay, and that also was right on target. My credit card, I didn't pay anything because if you remember in my March video, I paid that off. But why they send me a bill for $8 and some change saying it was a finance charge? So I have to pay that this month. Okay, um, my phone bill, it doesn't alter, it was $62. My electric bill was $40. The gas bill somehow came late or something, so it didn't get paid for April, which is probably why it's really high right now. So, um, Netflix was $12. Student loan, I paid $250. I didn't have anything estimate, estimated for it because I still am kind of a little rebellious on them. Now, my kids, braces. Let me tell you. I was a beast for the month of April. I wanted to pay $2.50 each pay. Let me tell you what I did. Okay, so April 9th, I paid $1,000. April 19th, I paid $250. And April 29th, I paid $2.15. That comes to $1,465. And those braces are paid off. Whoop, whoop. Ooh. So you see I started paying it December 27th and then I finished paying it off April 29th and the total that I was paying was $3,715. Yes! Okay, so now that the kids braces, so oh, so that was a positive $965 that I actually put to the braces more than what I estimated. Now, um, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm a DVC member, that's Disney Vacation Club. So we have to do this every year. So my plan was since the braces were paid off to start paying my half of the dues. And I wanted to pay $250 on those. But I actually paid $275, so that was positive $25. Groceries was $100. April is a big uh, month for me, so I did not track all of my miscellaneous I only track one $85 expense that was for miscellaneous but let me do my budget comparison so March was a three pay month and um, I was short on my car insurance I mean I I didn't owe him anything but short of what I wanted to do in April I was short but like I said I think I've decided I'm just gonna do $75 a check for right now Car note was right on track for both months. Girls trip was short for March, but was right on track for April. Credit card, I thought I paid them all off, but they say I owed them another eight dollars. And so they got nothing for April. Student loans, I did the same amount for April that I did for March. Kids braces, I paid two fifty. I mean, I paid five hundred dollars, and in April I paid fourteen sixty five. Can I get a what? What? Yes. And groceries was 388 and for April was 100 so that was my budget and review and um, I saw some changes you see as soon as you pay one thing off you got something else because you know the kids braces was done now I got to pay that DVC dude but I'll gladly pay it so um, what did April look like for you guys were you able to stick to your budget did you exceed your budget did you fall short of your budget I didn't put my 52 week money challenges or any of that in here because I got some videos coming up on that but um, you know leave me some comments down below let's be encouraging to each other when it comes to matters of the money the coins all right you sharing is caring and you know what it is hit that like button comment subscribe and bye